Hi everyone. Welcome to the very soggy and wet Hawkesbury. I honestly didn't ever think this would happen. This is Kate's fourth exhibition with us here and this is the fourth cancellation of her opening. I don't know what to say, Kate. I know it's absolutely devastating and we could never have predicted this, but here we are again. Me doing a walk around of your absolutely beautiful exhibition from within. I know you've done a little video from home and I thank you for that. And everyone, please bear with us because this has been the most horrendous times. I've had COVID, I'm just back from Cairns and Cairns was so and wet too. They had the coldest day on record. So let's just get through this because this will cheer everyone up, particularly me, it's an outstanding exhibition. So we're going to start with this first painting here. It's actually titled Two Ferns with Protea and Orange. And I have to say, it's one of my favourites. Just set on this sandstone wall, is it just pops. And there's something about Proteas. Obviously, we all, always talk about pattern with Kate's work. She loves pattern. I tend to often relate <laughs> Kate's work to, you know, a, a Matisse. Um, she has this way of being able to paint an interior reasonably flat but with pattern and with so much interest and colour and always with, you know, our Australian themes. This exhibition has a lot of interiors. This little one here is called Dye's Orange Jug with Two Pattern Cloths and again it works really well with this combination of patterns. I'm going to squeeze past the greenery we have here. We can't go out and get anything because... Um, they're pretty well cut off, our bridges. We're very high. A lot of people send me messages and say, I hope you're okay. We are fine here. We are right beside a lookout and we look out over Sydney. But we have to cross one of two bridges to get here and those bridges are still underwater. So this, this one here, now this is one of my favourites. It definitely is. It's called Studio Still Live with Fish Platter. Kate has incorporated quite a few of Lisa Herzl's fish platters in her paintings and they are just gorgeous. But this one, there's something about that light colour on the right and the beautiful oranges on the left and against that red all works so well. And these paintings here are the smallest in the exhibition. I, I don't think Kate paints small. She tends to really shine when the, the bigger the painting, the, the, the more it sort of just comes out and I think it's what Kate really loves doing. These ones are all around 60 by 50, um, a really lovely size. This one here, um, two vases with apple and I just love the way she's matching the pinks and the apple colours, always beautiful Kate. This one here has sold already, it's, um, it, it, I think it's the pink, I think uh, pink, pink proteas, pink plates, just more patterns. One of the things Kate's tried to do is with, with this exhibition is bring exterior to the interior by incorporating windows. Nearly all of them have a window to outside, which gives it that really lovely indoors, outdoors feel. This is another one of my favorites. Fabulous painting. If I stand in front of it here, I'll move some of this. You can see how big it is. It's a giant and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's called Cut Glass Bowl with Lemons and Palms. And um, honestly, I think these might be, are they Proteas maybe? There's one, I'm not sure, actually. King or Waratahs? King Proteas. King Proteas. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Thank you, George. Moving along to the other big one in the exhibition, and it's called Studio Still Life with Fern. If you have a catalogue, you'll see all of these on the catalogue. If you don't have a catalogue, it'll all be online. In fact, the whole exhibition is online, including these videos, so that you can get an idea of how big these paintings are and how they'll look on a wall which is why we do this, because I don't particularly love being in front of the camera, but there you go. So, moving along, we've got this one, which is very different to nearly all of the others in the exhibition with the beautiful blues and turquoise. It has, it's number 10 on our floor sheet, and it's apples with patterned tablecloth. And it's, if you can get in really close to these apples, they're exquisite, they're just really rich and chunky and you just want to take a big bite. Love them. Be perfect for a kitchen perhaps too. In fact, we've had an inquiry about that. Um, we've got, now, obviously things are very tricky. The biggest painting in the exhibition is not here. 
it, um, it couldn't get here in time to hang before those bridges went under. And so it's, and it has already sold anyway. But we do have one of the other bigger ones on the wall in the next room. And it's actually called um, View of the Pool with Oranges. And there's our oranges. And I'm not sure whose house this is, but obviously some one Kate knows and uh, it may even be a view of the pool from her her house or, or maybe a neighbour or a relative. Um, really stunning large painting. Now straight back into this room because it's a bit messy in there. We've had to rearrange a lot of things. This is definitely my favourite painting in the whole exhibition. I love it. It's called Five Oranges with Nasturtiums. One, two, three, four, five. And it's just that colour. I don't know whether orange is the thing at the moment, but I have a thing for orange at the moment. And to me, that is the, just has everything, everything, Kate. Okay? It's just glorious. I love it. And the one underneath, I did actually pair them together because of the colours. And uh, this one here has already sold, and it's fish platter with oranges. And I put one of Lisa's lovely fish platters underneath. I think that's the last one we have. But uh, they were very, very popular. Thank you, Lisa. Um, moving along, here's another one I like. Again, with the blues. And I think these blues are really, really lovely. This one is 60 by 60. A little bit triangle tablecloth with two pattern plates. Is that right? Triangle tablecloth with two pattern plates? Yes. And then next to it, oh no. This one is triangle tablecloth, of course. The one before it was the crystal jug with porridge proteas. This one is 60 by 60, bigger than the 60 by 50, but another one with the blues, and the blues are lovely. And then we sort of move over into this section here with these fabulous landscape paintings. Honestly, Kate, these just shine. If you're looking for a really big landscape painting, couldn't go past these. Absolutely stunning. And I think this one has a, a tide with the um, river's edge with gum totem. And this one is view of the river. Absolutely stunning, Kate. I, I love them, really do. Um, moving over to these two here. Only one with wattle. Obviously wattle's out of season at the moment. And I know in the past the exhibitions have had Quite a generous um, smattering of wattle paintings. This one is quite beautiful. Love it with the protea as well. And then underneath we've got another one of Kate's fish platters and it's called Stripes with Fish Platter and Oranges. And that's really quite sweet as well. We've nearly finished. Moving to the last painting in this exhibition. And I think I could have sold this already five times. It has sold. It's been the painting has always won in every exhibition that everyone wants. And this is it. And it's uh, called View of the Dam with Nasturtiums. All of Kate's paintings are um, oil on linen and they've all been framed with a lovely float um, oak frame. They, they really are quite, a, a, it's a sensational exhibition. And I just cannot believe that we're doing this again online. But please, if you're interested in a painting, um, contact me. We have decided to push Kate's opening drink celebration back one week. With any luck, I spoke to a man with a truck this morning that's doing a lot of driving and he thinks one of the bridges will be open maybe in a couple of days and we should be back on board again by next weekend. So you can come out and join Kate and see this absolutely fabulous show and perhaps you know buy one of these paintings or buy them online if you like or contact me and um, everyone stay dry it's um it's a bit different out here in the hot spring <laughs> we have a very very um uh, interesting life with the fourth flood this year and um it's really quite incredible so thank you everyone for listening thank you for being so supportive of the gallery and um hopefully you'll support kate and buy a painting see you next time thank you